Triceratops DNA. Triceratops was a genus of the Gibbous Chagnosaurian ceratops a dinosaur that first appeared during the late Maastrichtian stage of the late Cretaceous period, about 68 million years ago in what is now North America. It is one of the last known non avian dinosaur genera, and became extinct in the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event 66 million years ago. The functions of the frills and three distinctive facial wounds on its head have long inspired debate. More recent interpretations find it probable that these features were primarily used in species identification, courtship, and dominance display, much like the anthers and horns of modern ungulates. Triceratops was traditionally placed within the short form ceratopsids, but modern linguistic studies show it to be a member of the Chesensorini, which usually have long claws. Horses are considered valid today from the 17 species that have ever been named. Research published in 2010 concluded that the contemporary Storosaurus, a ceratops of long regarded as a separate genus, represents Triceratops in its mature form. Triceratops has been documented by numerous remains collected since the genus was first described in 1889 by American paleontologist Hockey L. Charles Marsh. When it broke off, the skull tumbling to the bottom of the cleft, Wilson brought the horn to his boss, the rancher and avid fossil collector Charles Arthur Vinzi, who happened to show it to Hatcher. When further preparation uncovered the third nose horn, Marsh changed his mind and gave the piece the generic name Triceratops, Lord. Triceratops remains have subsequently been found in the American states of Montana and South Dakota, and more in Colorado and Wyoming, as well as the Canadian provinces of Saskatchewan and Alberta. An earlier specimen, also recovered from the Lance Formation, was named Agathonis Sylvestris by his Edward Drinker Pope in 1872. After Triceratops was described, between 1889 and 1891 Hatcher with great effort collected another 31 of its skull. Its specific name was derived from the Latin Horus, Hoth, Hugus, perhaps referring to the type specimen's rough texture, later identified as an aged individual. Gravaclonus was now thought to be the most conservative range, with an increase in skull size and a decrease in laser wound size, and teeth. With time, the idea that the different skulls might be representative of individual variation within one, or two, species gained popularity. To their findings, Thomas Clayman added the overall strength of lineages combined with maturity and sexual dimorphism, suggesting that the teeth. These findings were contested a few years later by Catherine Forster, who analyzed Triceratops material more comprehensively and concluded that they may spell into two species, two. Due to this name, because they are based on the names too poor or incomplete to be distinguished from pre-existing Triceratops species. Like all Triceratops, Triceratops had a large skull relative to its body size. The skull bore a single hand on the snout, above the nostrils. At the rear of the skull, the outer squamosal bones and the inner parietal bones grew into a relatively short, bony pore, adorned through the occipitals in the specimens. These were low triangular processes on the foot edge, representing separate skin ossifications or osteogens. Typically, with triceratops specimens there are two epicipitals present on each parietal bone, with an additional central process in their border. Most other ceratopsids have large parietal chemistry openings in their furrows, but those of triceratops were noticeably solid, 33, unless the genus Dorosaurus represents mature triceratops individuals. The largest Triceratops skull ever found was discovered in 1992 and excavated in 2003 in Dawson County, Montana, in the Hell Creek Formation. Later interpretations revived an old hypothesis by John Bell Hatcher that at the very front of vestige of the real atlas can be observed, the same cervical vein consisting of four vertebrae. The straight sacrum was long and adult individuals show a fusion of all sacral vertebrae. In Triceratops the first four and last two sacral had transverse processes, connecting the vertebral column to the pelvis, that were accused at their distal ends. Triceratops had a large pelvis with a long lumen. Although 
most certainly thought it better. The posture of horned dinosaurs has long been the subject of some debate. In those two groups, the forms of quadrupedal species were usually rotated so that the hands face forward with palms backward, and move it as the animals walked. The Triceratops, like other ceratopsians and related quadrupedal ornithopods, together forming the Ceratopsia, walked with most of their fingers pointing out and away from the body. The original condition for dinosaurs also retained by bipedal forms like the Theropods. Preserved skin of Triceratops is known from the specimen found in Wyoming, though it has not been formally published in the scientific literature. Triceratops is the best known genus of the Ceratopsidae, a family of large, mostly North American human dinosaurs. The exact relationship of Triceratops among the Ceratopsids has been debated over the years. For many years after its discovery, the deep evolutionary origins of Triceratops and its close relatives remain largely obscure. While several other genera of horned dinosaurs are known from born beds preserving bones from two to hundreds or thousands of individuals, to date there is only one documented bone dominated by Triceratops bones, a site in southeastern Montana with the remains of three genes. It is believed that the animals were traveling as a family unit, but it remains unknown if the group consists of a native pair and their offspring, or two females and a juvenile they were playing for. Analysis of the endocranial anatomy of Triceratops suggests its sense of smell was poor compared to that of other dinosaurs. A 2022 study by Lee and colleagues of various dinosaur genera, including Triceratops, suggests that it had an exophonic, cold blooded, or gigantothermic metabolism, on par with that of modern reptiles. There has been much speculation over the functions of Triceratops head adornments. Triceratops were long thought to have used their horns and gills in combat with predators such as Tyrannosaurus, the idea being discussed first by Charles H. While studies show that such activity would be feasible, if unlike that of present day horned animals, 68, there is disagreement about whether they did so. Although pinning, folds, lesions, and other damage on Triceratops skulls, and the skulls of other Ceratopsids, are often attributed to horn damage in combat, a 2006 study finds no evidence for horn thrust injuries causing these forms of damage. For example, there is no evidence of infection or pain. One skull is found with a hole in the nuchal bone, apparently a puncture wound sustained while the animal is alive, as indicated by signs of pain. The hole has a diameter close to that of the distal end of the Triceratops horn. Horner and Mark Griffin found that individuals of Triceratops could be divided into four general ontogenetic groups, babies, juveniles, subadults, and adults. With a total number of 28 skulls studied, the youngest was only 38 centimeters, 15 in, long.